Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another power armor that can double as a point defense drone if that's what you want to do with it, and it's fully AI enabled so it can automatically target and shoot enemies with its hinged up Gatling guns that you can see right next to me. So before we go around the outside and all of that, what I'm going to do is grab hold my character and I'll hop inside by pressing that button right there, there we go. That's going to reveal to us a chair, hopping into that, pressing I, into the control panel, hiding all of that because we do not need to know about that, then coming all the way down to control, putting that all the way down, and now we're ready to roll. So this thing as it is, is called the Carapace Power Armor Killbot, which is a perfectly apt name for what this thing can do. So up on the hill over into this direction, there it is right there, you might be able to make out through the little grill in front of me, is a enemy killbot, which we're going to very slowly go towards it. Bring up the HUD, these are the controls we get, so we can press number 6 or number 7 to take over the arms, we can lift it all the way up if we want to do that, so doing that, we now turn the gun around, or we lift the gun up, or all the way down. Press the F again, we'll come out of that, and then the AI takes over it once again. So you can if you want to, not rely on the AI, and while just manually targeted, manually adjusted to make sure you can hit the target, and not waste precious ammunition. Coming all the way up to this, it looks like it's not going to attack it, so I might need to come in here and double check everything in here, that's the problem once again, we're set to nobody, so in here, saying to me, now the arms fully activate, I'll start blasting into that poor little killbot who's doing a breakdance routine for whatever reason. We see a bunch of smoke coming off this, but that's no issue whatsoever, because that's purely from the exhaust blocks for added decoration. And look at it from the front there. There we go, bring the free camera all the way over, and up to here so we get a better look at what's going on. And there we are, just as the camera comes all the way over, it finishes shooting the other killbots, but that is what it does. It's just a lovely little suit to run around in and act as an anti-personnel, well, weapon, or you can just leave it as is and have it as an anti-light vehicle, anti-drone, point defense turret. Very facing this back towards the sunlight, there we go. Bring the free camera back around. And I suppose what we'll do is now reset that arm to make sure it's back to how it should be. So down it comes, all the way around. Controls are a little bit awkward. We'll go through that a bit later on. Bring it back over to here, back like that. Pressing F10, finding it in the form menu, the killbot is 113 small blocks using the Wasteland, Spies of the Future, Warfare 2, and all Top and Tom's DLC packs. We see at the top here that it can be used as power armor, which is what I currently just demonstrated, or you can have it as a basic defense drone to follow you around, or just guard the location and blast stuff with the AI Gatling guns. It uses hover tech to move around smoothly on the ground, which I've showcased on many vehicles in the past, and of course it's got two Gatling guns, which you obviously saw. So giving this thing a thumbs up, we run towards the very front, have a quick look around the outside, then we'll go through all the controls, and I guess we'll test out some more against some more enemy killbots. So at the very front of this thing, this is what we get, and what we've got a rather run down and raggedy look, and would be quite scary to encounter if you say, running around a wrecked building on Pertam, and then suddenly one of these popped out and started blasting you. But anyway, what we can see is the camera to help precisely aim our galleons, and get a good lay of the land in front of us, see if any enemies are approaching you. So next to that is a bunch of well, rust is steel blocks, we've got some corrugated steel blocks, then you've got our barred window to act as a little way to view outside from on the inside. Then up and above here, we've got ourselves a red wasteland spotlight to act as our eyes. Moving all the way down the back, there we are, we can actually see myself looking outside there. Yes, all the way down to here, there's one of a few atmospheric thrusters to help glide this thing around onto the ground. A couple hazard skin blocks, just some added decoration. Then down to here, some wheel suspensions on some unfinished wheels, which is how we're going to glide around onto the ground to give that hovercraft-like feel. Back over to here, onto its gun. So what we've got is a bunch of rotors onto a galley gun, which is how we're going to be able to lift up and down and spin the gun all the way around. Looking out on the side, there we go, so we've got a conveyor cap covering up that access panel on the side to make sure nobody can wander up to this and we'll just pull out all of your ammunition. Down to there is your button on how we're going to open up the cockpit to get inside, as well as another atmospheric thruster for our left and right. Put on my light, moving slightly up there, another set of hand skin, and all the way up to there we can see one of two exhaust blocks. In fact, you can just about make out the other exhaust block shooting out a bit of smoke, well, that added decoration that we talked about earlier. Anyway, over to this part, there's your hinge to lift up and down the lid to really get up and inside. Over to there is another atmospheric thruster to move us down. Make sure we've got some in all directions to make sure the AI can move this thing around if that's what you want it to do. Around towards the very back of this thing, there we go, got an access panel for you to open up and play around with. Down to there is a heat vent, then of course we can see our AO controllers there. One is to move it around, and of course one is to attack. Down to there, another atmospheric thruster to help propel you forwards, as well as some more hazard skin and a bunch more rusted steel blocks. Down to the bottom and underneath it, there we go, so there's another AI block. 
there's a reactor to give it a bit of power, there's our gyroscope, another atmospheric thruster once again to make sure this can move in all directions with the AI move block, and there's a very clear view of our suspensions and how our wheels have been set up. Moving all the way up and looking down, there we go, not much else to talk about there, but there's our atmospheric thruster on the opposite side, there's of course our hinge for our lid, and on the very tip top there, we can see his little fake antenna made out of this. I'm not too sure what this actually is, so I'm going to have to grab hold my character, hop out of here, there we go, bring up this, I just come mouse all the way over it, and there we go, it's a neon tube, but it looks very, very odd. And there we are, that's that for the outside of the Carapace Power Armored Killbot. It looks fantastic, it has been set up, and it is a lot of fun to play around with, especially because you don't need to manually control the guns, the AI controllers can do that for you. But yes, coming over to the side with the button once again, pressing that, lifting that all the way up, and just hopping inside. In the first person view with the lid all the way open, that's all we can see. And then we will need to press I, come into here, find the remote control block all the way down to control, and then press number two to close it all the way down. There we go, just having a look around it as it comes down. And there we are. So on the left hand side, that's going to show you your faction. On the right hand side, we'll show you your beaches per second. Looking all the way down, we can see a few bits and bobs there for some added flair. But that's about it. But as for the rest of the controls, we've got number one to control our Gatlingers manually, if that's what you want to do. Then you'll pair it up with either six or seven to actually precisely aim the guns to where you want to go. Let's press number six. And just moving this around. If I can actually move this around properly. There we go, I was pressing the wrong button. I need to press number five. And now I can just spin this around, if I can. So up and down on the mouse, it's going to spin it up forwards and then all the way back. We go just about 90 degrees. So as far as we can aim is just over there. There we go. So now we should shoot up in that direction. And as for lifting up the arms, we need to move left and right. So moving left, we'll move it up. There we go. And moving right, we'll move it all the way down. It is a little bit awkward from this camera, so do excuse that. But once you get used to it, not too bad. But relying the camera, there we go. We now just spin this around. There we go. And move it all the way up if we need to. And the controls are the same on number seven, so pressing that. Now we can move the other arm and start blasting with that. Hopping out of that, it's number three. That's your camera on the main body, so we can get a good view of what's going on. Number four is then for your parachute hatch, you can deploy this from a flying ship if that's what you want to do. Just fly over a combat area, drop this all the way down, and have a parachute while also blasting the enemies. But as for that, that's all there is to the controls. So all we've got to do now is drive it around, then put it back into combat, to it'll start blasting stuff once again. So moving forwards, here we go. So this thing is not the fastest thing in the world. So like the creator said, it is great for following you around for a bit of defense on your adventure. As you're going out and about and scouting for ore patches, or maybe you are drilling in ore patches, and there's drones nearby. Anyway, come to a stop. There we go. It's going to be the same forwards and backwards. Left and right should also be the same. And we can hold space bar, but nothing's going to happen. And of course, nothing's going to happen when we drop all the way down. But what I can do is move the camera all the way up. Here we go. And we're going to drop it like so. Grab hold of this. We're now going to come all the way down to the ground. Well, I'm now going to come into here and actually check the parachute hatch. That it's going to open up automatically. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. And no, it's not. We need to be quite careful here because it does want to tilt all the way down. What I want to do is now move that arm down like so, hopping out of that, back all the way down. And now we need to reline it once again. This is going to be a little bit awkward because it is fighting me actively and it's very, very difficult to keep it level. Here we come. And now we're going to press number four, open that up, a sudden little tilt, and now we're ready to start blasting stuff all the way down to there. In the camera, there we go, we now sort of aim this in the right direction. We then take over the guns if that's what we want to do. So into this, moving it around. There we go, we now just move that around and start blasting all the way down there. But while this is coming back down to the ground, yes, what I can do is now just hop out of this, come all the way down to the ground myself, and start spawning in a bunch of enemy bots, start blasting as we are descending to the ground. And here we go, we've now engaged, they're going to start engaging with me. But yes, here are all the enemies, it's be five or six, so this is going to end very poorly for me, so we might have to slam straight into them if they do end up destroying both of my guns. And it looks like they have disabled one of them. We are now just gliding around a bunch of smoke, not from the exhaust blocks, currently shooting out of the guns. And now we're going to start to charge towards them. Here we go. And we're going to be going at about 25 meters per second. That's about all this vehicle can handle. Now they might be facing their backs towards me, so we could be on their dead zone. Because I can't actually remember the way I spawned them in in relation to this vehicle. But there they are right there. They're all of them ready to engage me. But no, there's all their guns starting to blast into me. Not sure why he's trying to shoot the sky. But there we are. I can now just take over this. Looks like we can't actually shoot anything. Or maybe I can. The AI has taken over once again. And it's so... Oh, I was going to say, it's sort of doing a good job. It looks like we have been fully disabled. Both our guns have been broken. They're on fire. And what well, a bunch of them are still standing. This thing is not intended for heavy combat. It's intended for light. 
anti-personnel combat or against a light drone, maybe having two or three of these in the area that you need guarding could do very well against a vanilla drone, but against a heavy armoured or multiple of these kill drones is not going to do too well, but it is a lot of fun to play around with and you could get a lot of fun with it out of yourself if you want to refit it or maybe make a giant version of one of these and that's what you want to do. And here we go, so I'm spawning a bunch more just to finish off this video because there's not too much else to talk about, just a fantastic little vehicle. And well, they're not having a great time over there. This one has lifted his lid. The other one is now charging towards him, looking like he's in one piece. He's going for it. He's going absolutely blasting towards the enemies. He might slam straight into them if he can stop in time. I don't think he's going to. He's going to slam straight into them and act as a little bumper car. Now he's going to start shooting into that other one. They're now aimed their gun all the way across and they're going to start shooting me. I need to make myself untargetable. There we go. Hopefully he'll stop shooting me. Maybe he will. Maybe he will not. Looks like everyone else is going to start blasting into me. But like I said, that's pretty much it for the Carapace Power Armor Killbot. It's a lovely little vehicle to use in your world. If you do want to have something, well, with a bit of firepower that could be used to guard your base or guard anywhere else that you need guarding and want to protect yourself from other players or small drones. So be linked to the description below to shut out and play around yourself. I highly recommend you do because it's a fun little vehicle. I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.